Jared. Yes, yes. I want my money, Jared. I am tired of being bouncing throughout. It is a month now. Either I come or you are country, or you are in the city, or you are somewhere. Now Mbaya. today I've seen you are going to give me my Wait, I'm basing. Let me first finish. I'm not working on your timetable, please. You do not work on my timetable when you are coming to borrow money from me. Kasima, let me eh? first finish. Give Bailey, me my then... money. Do not make me angry. I want my money. Can you wait? Let me finish. Basing, they're like... Think... Now, now why are you taking my clothes? You think I'm... Ah, let me take them. You think I am joking just because I'm here? I can even take this one also. I can take this one also. Give me, give me my money. Katim, why are you taking my clothes? How am I going to get out of here? It Just let me finish, then I come and give you your money. You do not have to have your clothes to pay me. Direct me. Where is your wallet? This is Direct there. me where the money is in the house I go and pick it. I want to come and give it to you inside them. Let me come and we talk, okay? I don't know. When you look at me, over you see a stooge. Over you see a retarded person. Just to know, I want my money. Simple. Give me directions. Tell me where the money is. May I go in the house and pick? I've, I've said, let me finish, then I come. You can at least give me a cross. How am I getting out of here? It's okay. It's okay. Let me go with these clothes. Today you're going to run a lesson. A very, very good lesson. Bye. But I don't know you're going to leave. Actually, I'm, I'm going to close the house also. Next time, before you dare to borrow money from someone, you'll first do investigations and a background check on who you think you're going to mess around with. Uh, me, they don't rob me. I'm you're sorry. going to have to pay me. And I'm, I'm not okay. working on your terms. <laughs> Make sure you hide my wine. Eh. Ananga, I can't wait to see John. Hey, when is he coming? Excuse me. When? Excuse me. Eh. <laughs> Re, on Tuesday. My God, I don't want to miss Vanna. I don't want to miss. <laughs> yes. Uh, sorry, madam, how can I help you? First, get off the phone. You do not ask me how you can help me when I'm. You're the people where you're, you're the people where there's no, 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 there are no jobs and people think we are very unserious. What if I'm a potential investor? I am a potential investor. I've come to invest in your like, cheap, cheap business. Oh, I have brought good business actually in the shop. And you just sit there, malingering. You're just there wasting time on the phone. Oh, keep me wine. Also, Rukuzed. Also, also porridge. And you cannot attend to clients. What is wrong with receptionists? Eh? These are jobs that should be scraped off any business. I cannot believe this. As a matter of fact, can I see your boss right now? Uh, madam, as I said, can I help you? No, you're incapable of helping me in any way. Look at yourself. You cannot even express yourself. You have to use sign language. Madam, how can I help you? You cannot even speak. No wonder you got just that always level of jobs. So you cannot help me. Direct me straight to your boss, the owner of this place is the one I want to talk to. You? You're incapable of delivering any help to me as far as I'm concerned. Okay, let me say it again. I'm the boss. Can I help you? Boss? You are what? I'm the boss of this place. I own this place. You own this place? Who are, who are you? I'm the director of this whole hotel. Eh. Okay, boss, you like you, boss, you, you are the head of people who clean, boss, boss, owner. Okay, I'm the owner of this oh, hotel. Oh, oops, yes. surprise. Oh, <laughs> you look young. You look very young and beautiful. It's extremely surprising how, you know, the young generation has come out to own businesses and run them splendidly. You almost surprised me. <laughs> you, your business is extremely splendid, really. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Yes, yeah, so you were saying that uh, you have business for us? Um, okay, you can put it like that, but really my business is in the line of job seeking, you know, job hunting. So I am... Uh, I am a fresh graduate from Makere University and I'm looking for any job, any job at any level. Oh. You'll be surprised what I can, me, me, you'll be surprised. I can actually clean your toilet and you, you use it as a makeshift dining. As in people can even take food there and they eat it. Anything you want me to do, I can do it. Oh, I thought you had business, but you know we are fully staffed. We don't have any other jobs for you. Now I can understand you are fully staffed, but you yes. don't have a can me on that staff. Trust me, when I come, things will change. You see, already I showed you what I am capable of doing. If you employ me, no one, no one in this company can sit around on the phone with darling. I can show them exactly who I am. Madam, I'm sorry, we are fully staffed, so we have no jobs. So hold on. 
you're not going to give me a job because I am outspoken. I've told you the truth. See, it's not my fault you don't look like a boss. Look at you. Which boss has half of their breasts showing up? Yeah, to clients. It's not my fault. The fact that I'm outspoken. Actually, as a matter of fact, I don't want your job. You know why? Even me, I have taste when it comes to bosses. I don't just maraga work for anyone, anyone who hires me. Even if you gave me a job right now, unless it's for manage. Even if you gave me a job right now, I would not take it. Go, change your sense of style. You do not refuse to give me a job because I'm outspoken. Please, I walk out with my head held high. Yes, I'm alright. You can have a seat. Yes, I'm very fine. Yes, I'm, I'm uh, Gerard. Yes, yeah, nice I'm to meet Sherry. you, Gerard. Yes, Sherry, nice to meet yes, you. Yes, you are from URA. URA. Yes. Uganda Railway. Do we still have railway stations in Uganda? No, he actually means Uganda Revenue Authority. Yeah, Uganda that's Revenue Authority. From. Yes. So how can I help you? You want me to perform for you? Do some business? <laughs> uh, no. no. Okay. Uh, we, uh, we, read, we, we just brought this document for you. Yes. Realize uh, you're yes. behind with taxes. Yeah, behind with taxes. Whatever that means. <laughs> this is a joke. So. 300 million in tax areas. Yes, yes. 300 yes. million. When was the last time we saw 300 million shillings in one place? You are comedian. But madam, we've been seeing you in business for quite a long time, so you have to pay the taxes. Yeah, because uh, the, the first year you started business, then mm. it's, now, it's now four years and yes. you haven't. Mm. So you watched me. After one year, you said, Let's keep quiet and now she has not gathered enough money. Then you waited for two years. You no, said, uh -uh. <laughs> but please let me finish. I've let you speak. Okay, you, the, the, then two years passed. You said, mm, but just one million. Let's first wait. Three years, four years. People are like thieves. So you were um, you're stalking me. You were stalking me. You stalked me first year, second year, third year. First gathered that I actually now I'm making money. Now I have business. And you come and the budget for what you do. You're like armed robbers. We I'm talking you. to you. Yes. You're like armed robbers. It's like you wait by the road. When people come driving their cars, passing. And then ambush them and steal what they have. How come you did not wake me up those days I did not have a We job? thought you would realize. Realize how? Am I a prophet? Was, you see taxes, you need to realize yourself. Am I a prophet? No. So how come you do not educate me and tell me that I'm supposed to pay this, but you just wait here, you wait. When someone has made their money, you people are thieves. You people are very terrible thieves. You are thieves. As a matter of fact, you people are thieves. We, we, we can't. Madam, you, we are you doing your job. You are doing your job? Yes. Your job is to steal other people's money. No, we, go, we make sure we collect revenue from people. From different business people. Who do you think you are? You are thieves. You wait for someone to first get worse, then you come and, and you want to charge them and even steal. It's like you are sucking, right? It's like if someone gets malaria, assuming someone gets a small fever, and you refuse intention to take them to hospital. You wait and they get fever. It becomes intense. Intense. Till instead of talking, taking them to a clinic to get painkillers, you have to rush them to Murago Hospital Intensive Care and they put them on oxygen. That is how you are. That's you wait. Story. You wait at a point. You sit down and wait at a point where. You, actually, we are wasting each other's time. I don't know why I've been choosing to talk to you. If I actually come up in arms and now begin defending myself, get out of my office. Get your papers before you urinate on them. Because when I urinate on them, they will be hard for you to pick. It will be hard for you to pick. Get your papers and get out of my office right now. Get out. Get out of my office. You thieves. You who do you pay revenue to? Eh? You under revenue. Also. You who who do you pay revenue to? You come and account for my money. Absolute rubbish. You people have never met me. You don't know me. You don't know me. Absolute nonsense. 100 million. Are you mad? Can I see you? Wanji? 
Mkwano. Every time you come here when you're sad like that, can you ever come and deliver good news? I just don't know where to start. I have problems. We all have problems. Not my problems. My man just left me. Huh. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I also borrowed a loan of which I have not yet paid. They demand me money in the bank. My kid is sick, very sick. Actually, she's in hospital. I don't know where to start. I just have problems. Wait, slow down. Take your time. See, when you rush through problems, you'll miss some of them. So breathe in, out. Tell me again, uh-huh. Okay, I have problems. Uh-huh. My husband left me. Sorry? Yes, and they, um, I've not yet actually paid the loan. Eh? Uh -huh. So they are going to take my house. And mm -hmm. my child is very sick. Actually, right now she's in hospital. Is that all? Yes. Sorry. So I need your help. Eh, sorry, sorry, but I cannot help. I, can, I, I'm not in, I don't have the I cannot help. But you can't see me. You're my friend. And precise, you're a Christian. Mm. Please help me. It's actually because I'm a Christian that I'm not going to help you. Because what, what you're going through is in line with the Bible. Have you ever read the book of Job? Do you know how he suffered? Do you know that Job's wife left, the, the crops died, the plants died, the people died, everyone left, everyone left him, and then he got a skin disease, eh? and then people were like, eh, they didn't even want to be around him, that is Job, and then it turns out that God was just giving Job a test. So imagine, did you read anywhere in the Bible where Job's friends maybe bought to a very nice jelly for, for his skin and donated oil? So that his skin gets better. They did not help because no one wanted to jeopardize or to, or to, to you know. Ah, I, I have but money. You can't see me. If you think I'm lying, actually. Please just money. help me. But, but I cannot see give me. even a single coin. I can't. I can't. Anna can see me. I have issues. I already have issues. I am big headed. I am quarrelsome. I fail to find that man. But I am not going to add blasphemy to that. So you yes, want me to be me? the reason why I make everything stand still. God is planning on teaching you a lesson. This, what you're going through, it's a lesson. You're learning. It's a test. If anything, the only thing you, you need is good luck. So you go, continue. You're lucky. You're in the initial stages. You don't have a rush. Do you have a skin rush? Wait for it. Wait for it. Job went through I it. You better believe. You are a believer. This is a time when you should pray so that but God takes you through pray. problems. Eh? You look at, you go read the Bible, follow Job's example step by step, suffer. Right now, wait for the rush. When it comes, you know you've reached the peak. Then God will deliver you. Can't let you down. I praise the Lord. You go. You go. Get out of my compound, please. I'm not going, I'm not going to add blasphemy to my list of sins. What? Have uh -huh. good news. Uh -huh. I found a man. Uh huh. I Where? found a man. Where had he gone? What do you mean you found a man? Okay, I got a man. A man. You got a man, and you come here storming in that excited, as if you've won a lottery or won gold. So what will happen? Stop misplacing that excitement. What will happen if you finally win something important, money, something we can actually look at? You find a man, and it is t reason for you to celebrate that much. Usually, like that. Please stop misallocating your resources. Ma no, 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 no. You, you finding a man is you. <laughs> okay, now let's just start afresh. What were you saying? What is important that you have found? Okay, you haven't understood me. I found a man and he wants to marry me. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. Uh -huh. you have found a man and he wants to marry you. He's like gold. <laughs> He's like gold. Yes, like okay, he's like my gold, my gold. Bambi, my darling, you still have a wrong way to go. If you still think that there is any human being that is like gold, you're yet to That's see what me. financial crisis you're going to be in. Gold, you go and call a mining company and they mine. They mine him and probably we shall have something to celebrate about. He wants to marry you. Does he know? Do I know him? Do I know him? Have uh -huh. I seen him? He knows Do everything I know about him. You. You know, you don't know him, but does he him, know me? Yes, he knows everything about you, everything. That's a good thing. He knows. He you knows that your mother is cancer. Yes. So he's willing to marry a cancer offspring. Yes. And he still wants to marry you. Yes, mommy. What's wrong with him? But mommy, he loves me. Oh, how old is he? Uh huh. He's twenty-four. That is no longer a man. That's a boy. Is he rich? Mommy, he's rich. He has a house. 
and he has a car. Actually, two cars. Two cars and a house. Yes, and a house. That man is broke. Broke? Yes, he's broke. You see, a young man who has already bought a house, has already bought a car, all cars. Yes, he has. In this car. generation, has no money on their account. They can never give you anything. Every but time you even want money for Vaseline or lotion on your face, you tell you, Madam, I have already bought a house, I've already bought a car. There's nothing else. Their account is empty. They've used their money at such a tender stage to buy such to buy a house. That is be he's a selfish man. So he spent all that money that what is he going to spend on me, the mother in row? Finally, now his account is empty. And then now I'm the mother in row. What is he going to spend on me? Or you, what is he going to spend on you? Find a man. Who has not have this uh, house? Find a man who stays in a small house. Like Emma. Ah, perfect. Ah, mommy, sure, perfect. I mean, I cannot Find marry Emma. Look mm -hmm. at it this way. Emma stays in a small house, pays very little rent, has a job. Every money that comes, he's saving it on the account. On the eh? account. On the account. What is the ideal man to marry? Because he still has money to spend on you. Still has perfect money. To, don't you see your father? We are still renting such a big house. Why? Because I am hopeful that there is still money saved on his account and we shall spend it. One actually, if I can get that pin number, off I go to the honeymoon I never went to. So please, go find an old man who has no house, has a smile, yes, who has no house, hmm? has no car, but has savings. I want an account with money, please. I'm not, a, I'm not going to be a mother in law just for free. Please get out of here. Just like that, uh, yeah. he's rich, he has money. How do I benefit? Can't see me, what's wrong? Where have you been? Okay. Eh? Where have you been? You don't just go out. I've been here for about 30 minutes, seated waiting for you. You should tell people when you're leaving your house and going somewhere, please. I've been here waiting for you throughout. Okay. Eh? You tell people. Tell people I've left. Call. Call. Make phone calls. You don't just leave. And look at your compound. There's no single seat. So someone comes and they have to sit down. Ah, like me now. What if you get a visitor like me? Now I've been seated down. Okay. Can see me. Calm down. What is the problem? I have a problem, I need money. I have a problem, a very big problem, and I need help. I really, really need money. I need money, I need 200,000. I have a problem, and please don't tell, don't do not even dare tell me that you cannot help me. I don't have very many friends. You know, people usually think I am a bad person. They, there's a misconception going around with me, I'm rude, I'm harsh, what? But we all know, okay. they always misinterpret But cousin me, my husband traveled and I don't have money. I don't want your husband, I want money. Okay, I only have money that he left me. He traveled and he won't be back, so maybe... Okay, I have only like uh, 150. 150. Why? But cousin me, I'm trying to help, you don't have money. I don't have money, that's what I've come to it. But I want 200,000, not 150. Please, please. You see me, you think I'm lying? My husband left me with only this money and I'm offering to give it to you to solve the problem. But you're not understanding, you're not helping me. This is just 150. I'm looking for 200,000, please. Do you realize that I've given you three quarters of my money? That is the whole point. I know you, you're going to go around the village telling people how you bailed me out, how you helped me, how you are a wonderful friend, yet this is not going to help me at all. This is nothing. This is, I want 200,000. You're giving me this, I know, you're going to go around putting adverts, telling me. But you don't, this so now? now you don't need that one. You have not helped me at all. It's like going to hospital when you have malaria and they give you half a dose. Do you go home jubilating you or what? Because half a dose is not going to make you better. I came here looking, but still, just as usual. You, you come up with haphazard solutions. You never I've give me a solution that, after waiting for you for this long, and you just have, why do you have just 100? What, okay, why do you want me to go? Where do you want me to go now? You, you, you know, you've, you, you've given me, you've not given me all the money. Where do you want me to go? You know how many friends Cause I have? Because so now you're saying I've not helped you at all. Have you? I wanted 200,000. You've given me, what is this? I don't know, man. This, this, this is hard. Eh? No, this is just virtually a hard life. I don't know why I even bother to have friends at all. Anyway, I am going, but just to know, you have not helped much. Can't. Don't you have a flat screen TV? Can't we take you to a man Can't see me. 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 Can't see me.
see me. Excuse me, madam. Yes, you're excused. Uh, my name is Valentino. I'm a very poor man and I want you to give me some money. <laughs> uh, do you know what I'm going... What, what did you just repeat? Start it from the beginning, maybe you are just tickling me again? My name is Valentino mm. and I'm very poor and very hungry. I want you to give me some money. Mm, even me, my name is Kansime. Anna. Who told you I have money? Who sent you? Who sent you to me and said that me, I have money? No. In, in fact, I, I'm a very poor man. Mm. I'm very hungry. Mm. So you're a poor man, as opposed to me who is rich and you just found me driving a Pajero, changing gears, and you said, Stop there! Nyabo, in the Pajero, please help me! So me, I am rich. Eh? I look totally rich to you. You are poor, you are hungry. What do you mean you are hungry? Yes, Can't you a Christian? Can't you fast? Can't you just spend a day without eating? Must you complain every time you are hungry? You are poor man, you are hungry. Please, 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 please. I'm not going to give you anything. The Bible says that man shall live on, shall not live on bread alone. And then man will, will eat from his sweat. So feel free. Run up and about till you sweat and you lick it. Lick your sweat. Mm. So you said you have problems. Yes. Tell me, what problem? I am really very puzzled. Mm. My mother is sick. Mm. I am very hungry. I've been moving around town looking for money. I don't even have money to take me back home. Why did you leave home? Hmm? If you don't have money to take you back home, why did you leave home? Hmm? So, do I look like I am rich? So those are all the problems you have. Now, pay attention. Listen. Do your finger like this. One. Me, I am 34 years old. My husband died when I was 25. I don't have any children. All my parents died. I lost my grandparents last week. I don't have a job. I'm actually walking around looking for a job. They just evicted me from my house. Eh? And I just discovered that have a rush in a place I cannot tell you. So you, you think you have problems. Voila! We all have problems. So this trick works. Eh? When you meet someone and says, choose me, I am poor. They give you money. Do people usually give you money? Uh, yeah, they, they do. So sometimes. So you know, you're surprised when they not, have. You're surprised I'm not giving you money. Eh? <laughs> I actually I can give you money. Because I have only like 10,000 Ugandan shillings, which are, that is like. Uh, don't worry, those are like. Uh, let me see. 10 dollars. Uh, those are like uh, four dollars. Thank you, madam. So um, if I give it to you, <laughs> what do you do with um, it? I, I actually, I go buy for my mother medicine. Mm -hmm. I go uh, dig, buy, shop some things to eat home. For the and house? Yeah, ready for the house. Thank mm. you so much. <laughs> uh, so that is all I have. I'm also going to use it for my problems. Thank you for your advice. Can you please open? Eh? You've enjoyed, well, I've enjoyed my houses, so you break glasses as you please here. Open it! Where is the, I'm coming. Eh? Hey, hello, Wait, madame. So you're not sick, you're still alive. Pack your things, please. Pack your things and get out of my house. I heard that you fell sick and you don't come to tell me you want to die. Die, and I have a dead body in my rented houses, please. These houses are new. I am not going to risk having you of all people dead in my house and you kill the market. So you go inside, pack your things, and get out of here. Madam, I'm okay. You're not. Who said? Are you a doctor? Madam, have I'm you okay. treated yourself? It was just flu. I'm just okay. flu? I'm you say you're very jealous. You have flu, you know it's contagious, and you're not telling me to just go and give you a phone call. I'm here, and you want me to also get flu. What? You're going to die. There's no way. There's no way you're going. You're going to die. Look at yourself. Open your mouth. Naba. Get out of my house, Bambi. I'm not going to stand this. I'm not going to stand here and let you die from inside this house. You leave. What makes you think you're not going to die? You're going to die. You just have the exact signs and symptoms of someone who dies. People get sick for a very long time. Then they have like a day or two when they wake up and eat a plate of food. After wasting that food, they die with it, like within the next 15 minutes. They waste a whole plate of food. And then people on the body are saying, Kare Bambe, she eat. Bambe had improved, but then you, these signs of you opening the door yourself, when I know you have been sick, means when you go inside, you want to drop dead and die. 
You, you say furu, furu, just furu. There's a bad furu, there's a swine furu. People knock their feet, they stumble like this on the road. Ah, and they die. So you, you are going to die. Please don't die in my house. Get out of my house, please. Madam, it was just a cold, I'm okay. Mm, there's nothing like just a sickness. Any sickness can make you... People even have hiccups of... And before you know it, they are dead. So get out of my eyes, the spirit of... Look at you. Okay, if you insist you're not going to die, it's okay. Shift. Anyway. So that if you die or you do not die, you do it in a different house. You go and shift and go somewhere else. And in the case you're packing your things and you feel like you are weak, you can't breathe, just in case, please make sure you crawl outside and hide my my rent in those flowers. I'm going to pick the pick it, please. And then find some energy to die at the gate. Don't die in my house, please. Please get out of my houses. I am a widow. I'm the only <coughs> person left in my car. Please don't take the first property I have, please. But, just madam. pack your things, get out of these houses. Rest in peace. Not too much, it's okay. I will be fine. Did you go to the hospital? Mm. You went, and what did the doctor say? That I have parasites. Parasites? Eh? What are you still doing here? Have you got medication? <laughs> For what? For what? What do, do you, you know? Mean? Do you know what parasites are? Parasites. Para a parasite is something that its sole existence depends on you. Eh? Yes. They eat you, they survive because you are alive. They suck the life out of you. So on top of all that, I spend money treating parasites that are already eating from me. Not stupid. I'm not, I'm not, treat, I'm not taking any medicine to treat parasites. The more reason, Them being parasites enough is, is okay. The more reason you have to go to hospital. Do you realize that you can die anytime? I'm actually counting on it. What do you no, mean? I'm not a, you see, they think I'm stupid. They are busy eating on me, eating on me at a very terrific speed. They don't know that the moment they eat and reach the core and I die, both of us are in this together. They will have committed, so this is like signing death sentence for themselves because they are feeding on me. So I actually hope that I die, then we see. We shall see. What do you mean, Anne? They are parasites. They are eating me. The moment yes. I stop living, what do they eat? Nothing. So let them sign their own death sentence. Continue eating, continue. Shh, just let them be. Let them, at the end of the day, when I, the moment I die like this, we shall see who is who. <laughs> continue, continue, continue eating at a terrific speed. Eat me. Eat me, we shall see. You eat me. The moment I die like this, it will be game over for you. Oh, madam. Yes. Hey. How is life? Uh, uh, fine. You have told me, someone told me that you sell second hand in car cars. Uh, yes, you've come to bought a car. Afford yes. Hey. Affordable. There, yeah. Yes, so how much is the big car there? Up? Uh, the other one. Mm. That one is uh, 16 million shillings. Car, are you? Old? Uganda shillings. What am I buying? Yeah? I've not come here to spend all my life savings. I've come here to just buy a car. And it is not fundamental. It's not food that if I don't have it, I'll die. Please. What is that? Am I buying a plot of land in heaven? Please. Okay, these small ones, how much are they? Eh, the small ones. Which one? This one or that one? Any, this small one. Okay, this one is the... Uh, what? Yeah. Uh, this is uh, 7 million shillings. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other one is uh, 6 million Ugandan shillings. Million shillings? Should we speak a different language? Does English give you a hard time? Or uh, what? No, no. I'm just a fantastic. And uh, you can just carry on. Let's... Bye. <laughs> okay, sir. Yes. Uh, the money you are asking me is too much. It's too much. You see, I have a problem. But we can talk. Everyone in my village has a car. Hey. Everyone in my village has a car. Even the people that I am employing, they have a car. Oh. So it's a shame. I cannot just be there without a car. Mm. So, but the money you are asking, ah, by the time I get seven million in your mouth, hey, that's a wrong, wrong time. Why don't we do this? Eh? Um. Hmm. Hey, sorry. 
Sorry, madam. Eh, that was fun. Okay. I don't Sorry. know. Yeah. Let's do this. Eh? You give me maybe the, the car seat, eh? like where I can sit. Give me the, the driver's door, the engine, and maybe, and how many tires? Are there? Give me one tire. In the meantime, let me buy slowly, slowly, till I can buy the whole thing at the same time. I think that will work. Slowly, slowly, just a little, a little. Yeah, give me, give me, wait. Also, give me a one shock, one shock, shock absorber because the roads are very, very bad, very bad. I will start with that one, then with time I keep gathering, gathering. Before you know it, I will have the whole body. I think just that one. How much do you think that? And do you also, do you do service? Do you service? Because I want to service them, then you give them to me. That's it. 